Legend of Total War here with part 2 of my Stainless Steel 6.4 Let's Play campaign as the Byzantine Empire. Right, so previously uh, we've managed to capture quite a few settlements. Iconium, Ankara, Caesarea, um, Scopia, Arta, Ragusa. And we've declared war on the, the Turks and Venice. We had a... I did a rather silly thing, but I just wanted to try it out. Besieged and Adana with a woefully inferior force, but I was going on the fact that if I sniped the general, um, I would be able to rout all the infantry. However, the general didn't die, and so naturally we lost that battle. But we're back here Your with mind. a better army. Move out. Not by Bring much. Our troops together. Actually, this is still going to be a struggle. I mean, we're out, out, we're badly outnumbered. Oh, no, I think I'm just highly ranking, too highly ranking these um, Athanatoi. Because the thing is, out, out in the field, these guys will dominate them. That was the whole point, drawing them out. Right, only the last three turns, the siege. Could starve them out. It would be a lot easier. I mean, we're in no rush. I mean, the Turks don't even border this area here. The Turks have been, they've been pushed back for the time being. So I guess we'll just starve that out for the time being. Because I think if I assault that, we're just gonna, I'm just going to add insult to injury and have two defeats in the same area. And I think we just need to cut our losses, sort of, and be like, look, let's just take this, take this a bit smart, a bit smarter, rather than just being like, ooh, gun ho, we can do this, Deus Vault, no. I think even if we, we could probably win that battle, but it will cost us too much. But let's just draw them out. Anyway, this gives us a chance to wait, uh, to, uh, to sort of get some reinforcements over here, because every time I capture a settlement, I, I dwindle my forces a little bit, because I have to leave some troops behind, and there's just nothing left. And so, I'm going to need some reinforcements soon. So if I could get a boat from Iconium to deliver these forces from Nicosia over here, that'd be good. And you, I want you to go sit at Ragusa. Alright, but we do have the Battle of Ancona to do. This doesn't look difficult. Three units of urban spears. The thing is, the army that we've got here are going to be especially good at dealing with armies out on the field. Inside of settlements, they're really not going to perform too well. I'd rather not be stupid about this and be like, mm, burn, just attack. Let's let's be smart about this and go around the sides. Try and open a gate. They don't have enough troops to, to protect all of their entrances. All two of them. I mean, they technically do, but they won't. Where's the second entrance? Oh, it's right here, okay. Ah, oh, they've got that protected. They don't have this protected though, okay, good. You know what, given this, the troops that are in here, I really wish I had some more archers. But we have to Our make do with the army the that we've with got. The I want to send two generals bodyguard over here. Okay, I want you to get up on the wall. There's no gate on this side here. Because the cavalry can beat them, but we're going to have to flank them. That's kind of difficult to do when there's lots of troops. for brave anyway. hearts and brave deeds. Stand over here just to be out of the range of the towers. Our men have reached the walls with their ladders. So they're just pulling back to the town square now. 
Our soldiers have the proved gate. their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. Okay, bring in the horse archers. So we should definitely try and thin the mat a little bit before we make any any real attacks. I don't think they'll be able to do much because their their shields will block most of the shots. Just do what they can. Unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. The enemy general, has glorious heaven above. Right, that works our well. men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well, give the dog some wine, and be sure he can see us defeat the rest of his army. Try and lure them more into this situation because it works out well for us. Fighting them in the town square is never ideal. I mean, unless you can shoot them, but I don't have enough ammo to just constantly shoot them. Okay. Just give them a carrot on a stick. Make them think that they can win. No, they're not taking the bait. That's okay, we got a few kills on them, and there's only two of their units left. Like one and a half. You look, come over here. Okay, so these guys are going to attack. Thing is, what I want them to do is like leave their rear open so we can charge it. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Problem is, they don't charge very well inside the town square. Are they charged? Good. The enemy are badly blooded, they have lost half their men. Not that many of them. My lord! Our men are in command of the castle! All of Christian Good, I think that was awed by the really minimal casualties there. And that gives us a foothold in Italy. If we can get some troops from here, reinforce our numbers, we can we can capture the whole thing soon. Blessed Lord, we thank you for delivering us. God has delivered us this victory. As far as cavalry is concerned, we've already got quite a lot here. Now, I don't know what's at Venice. So, it's a bit of a guess. Well, let's just see how we go with this. Uh, I'm reluctant to leave a general behind, but... I've got to look after the settlement. Yes, my lord. Okay, yes. so again, we have a situation where we'd probably be better off having them sally out against us. But we really need to know exactly what they've got in there. Is that one general, or is it two, or is it three? Your orders, number one. But if we besiege orders. it... Bless you, Lord. Back on dry land. God will be with us, men! 
To battle. Yeah, I can afford Without those troops. Question, we shall begin the siege. If we besiege it, and they sally out, we should be able to handle it. I don't know what we're going to do about actually assaulting that, though. This, is, this will be, definitely be worth taking. Seven turns until it starves out. But I think assaulting that would be a big risk. So once we've got a little bit more intel about what's in there, I can start pulling some troops out of here to force them to sally out. Or maybe I'll just need to send reinforcements from other areas. So it won't be long. Oh god, there's no troops here. You can only really hire any good troops from, from Constantinople. And from here now, we've got two new generals. And. Okay, it's nearly a full stack. Good enough that we can get started. Um, if we were to attack the Cumans out here, I don't know if that would be a good idea or not. There's also Sinope, which we left behind, because it's more important to, t uh, to keep the Turks out, which we did. We're going to have to fight Hungary at some point because we need to take Dacia back. Let's take everyone except for one. Orders. And let's head north. Come here, my lord. Your majesty. Onward. Combining forces, my lord. Orders. So, the three-quarter staff. Bringing our troops together. We should be able to handle anything that we see. Your majesty. My lord. So let's do some construction, then move on to the next turn. Okay, don't have a lot of money now. To increase taxes. Right, moving on. Didn't. No, I don't don't want it to follow our movement. We would ask you to lower your swords and hear us out. No. No matter. Perhaps this concludes our meeting. Yes. Okay, well, they didn't sell you out. So let's see, what do we want to do about that then? So they can't hire any more troops while this is going on. Let's have a look, what's their diplomatic situation? So they're only at war with me, so they must have fought some rebels or something, because they're already damaged. Waiting for more troops, because um, woefully poorly equipped there. Just don't have enough troops. And that just takes time. I may even need to send someone back there to, to maintain public order. Name thy enemy, Lord. Fire with fire. Use Armenian cavalry against their Armenian cavalry. Even though our other cavalry should be better. Okay, 
Okay, they're blocking the river crossing here, which we could easily just... Just push them over. Fighting the Kumans can be a bit of a pain because of all their horse archers. I don't have good, uh, good regular archers yet, which is the best way to get rid of horse archers. Out in the field, at least. Your orders, Fighting them here, we no. I think we should just wait. Yours, we march to battle. Besieging forces reporting, my lord. It's worth waiting for. Same with that. Someone's gonna have to get rid of Adana at some point. Well, this is where all my money keeps going, into more troops, which I'm fine with, I guess. Okay, so you, I want you to come over here. So it's what I said before. The two generals that died over here allowed us to hire some new generals, you know, free of charge. So it really wasn't a big deal that they died. It's just, it was, it was an unfortunate defeat. So I want him to come down over here, command these troops, I'm going to send them to Africa. Your orders, noble one. There's no way in hell we'd be able to assault that. But what I'm thinking Your orders, is pulling one. some troops away from here, making them more likely to sally out. So units that have probably high amounts of balance of power orders. are these guys right here. So if I pull them out... Orders. Pull all of the infantry out and I send them back to Ancona. Yes, my lord. Yes. There's a higher chance they'll sally out now. Orders. March. Because as we saw in the battle over here, the infantry really don't do that well, especially on the higher difficulty ratings. Don't get me wrong. When you're assaulting a settlement, you need infantry. But in certain situations, cavalry is really good. In certain situations, they're not. In a sally out battle, you want to have good cavalry, which is what we've got. Who do I face? So yeah, he'll come down over here, command I'm these forces, and they'll move south. All right. So, Name how much money are we making? Lord. Okay, I'm, I'm spending too Who much. We face? need to capture some settlements to make some money. Fuck Kumans. Okay, so Targo Vist. Let's try and get a force dry up going. So, I'll, let me see, what have they got in here? Human horse militia. Those are horse archers. Spear militia. Okay. Are these guys cavalry? No, no. They're melee. And what's a Targo Beast? Right, so I just need to send someone back over there to. Uh, Okay, I'll send one, one of the units of cavalry to go and... Actually, no. Yes. You go and besiege the settlement. Because I don't need you in the field battle. Yes, Lord. Who do I face? And now we, we defeat them, but we horse. let them live. March. Except for the horse archers, they need to die. Because I don't have to fight them again. to do here I think is if we can draw the horse archers over here we can shoot them because I, I won't be able to catch them with my heavy cavalry like I said we need to let these guys here live okay good okay, move forward Shoot at them or just stare at them. See, cut off their escape. Right, 
good. Got this one. Doesn't matter if they charge into the archers. Okay, here. let them go. Take out the Libby archers. It's unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Here we go. We want to get under 85%. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Okay, all but one of those cavalry got away. Ah, oh, sorry. Only one of the cavalry got away. That's insane. Um, Hold your fire. Everyone get back behind the line here. We want those horse archers to come over here and get shot. As for the other troops, just let them go away. Okay, yeah, so all the cavalry just stay behind here now and let the, let the archers deal with this. If we need to release captives, we can, but I don't want to release captives. I, I want all of them to get away, that's fine, because I can very easily kill them. I want none of them to get away. So shooting them. The enemy oh, flees the battle! Run down those worthless peasants! Okay, this way we can execute prisoners. But we still have to deal with some of them, it's just not that many. All of Christendom I'll never, will be I never would have called them. No. <laughs> yes. As my lord, what's in here? We march to battle. Beck Drusina. The seats, my lord. They're horse archers. Okay. Doesn't look too difficult. Let me just reorganize this a little Let bit first. Strike, my lord. Your majesty. Orders. Your majesty. Yes. Move. Yes. Come on. I wish I could tell them just not to participate in this battle. It's going to get in the way. All right. So now in this this battle here, we want to wipe them all out. I don't consider the force draw out an exploit. I don't know in the previous episode I said no exploits, but it's not a, in my opinion it's not an exploit. It's it's a legitimate strategy. It makes perfect fucking sense. At least to me. But to some people they're like, oh, everything that gives you an advantage is an exploit. So I, with honor, choose to fight with honor. And they're like, they only ever hire melee infantry and that's it. Because you can't really exploit with melee infantry. Shooting your enemies is an exploit. Shouldn't do it. Alright, I'm just going to charge straight at these guys here. Doesn't matter if these guys here get away this time. If I get all of them... You know, if you did that in Total War Warhammer, then all get back up. Every last one of them. Which I think is stupid. Because what you gotta understand is that horses actually weigh a lot. And they come at you at like The battle is know. in our favor. If we remain if it's, true, it's super heavily armored, probably like I don't know, 40, be 40 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour, I'm not too sure. But to let's just say it weighs fucking half a ton. Half a ton coming at you at about 40 kilometers an hour. It doesn't matter how good your spear is, how good your uh, how good your shield is. You're gonna you're gonna break a lot of bones if that if that hits you. That's if you don't die.
And as someone who's broken their toe before, it's very fucking hard to stand, even with a minor injury. I always find it weird, like, in Total Warhammer, they get hit by a huge cavalry charge by shock cavalry. You get thrown across the map and then just get back up. Oh, good thing I didn't die. You fucking kidding? I mean, I know it's fantasy, but it's ridiculous. People have always said in Total War, oh, cavalry's OP. Uh, yeah. Well, the thing about OP, um, the thing, the thing about cavalry is that it was very expensive. So to what, what the, the balancing act needs to be, and I think they've done it well in, in uh, Standard Seal 6.4, is that they made cavalry very strong, but expensive as hell. Okay, these guys won't come out as fine. I wanted to shoot him. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our and men didn't are quite let me the close it. and forging a worthy victory. Our allies generalized. Oh motherfucker! That's, that's why I said I didn't want him in there. We must help his men Fucking avenge hell. him, lest they lose a heart. It's all right. I don't need us. I forgot he was even there. Praise the Almighty! Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight. We must push our advantage. So is this the general's bodyguard? Yeah. It's actually better, I think, to let them charge into the into the skirmishes. Because if they charge into the spearmen, they just wipe them all out anyway. Uh, the uh, the Kargan bodyguard's actually not not particularly well armored. Very easy to kill. What's his armor rating? Oh, it says 7. But you compare that to 18. Alright, you, you can't let him get away. We don't have any light cavalry, but if he gets away, we don't succeed with the draw out. So I don't want you to charge in at him. I want you to charge through him. The battle is in our favor. Praise to our lord. Our men right, have slain fun. the enemy general. Now his men will lose heart. Praise the Almighty. Shame about the flamethrower, but I mean, we, sh we should we actually recover quite a few casualties because they got captured. But uh, we've certainly succeeded with this draw out, I'd say. I don't think they're going to catch them, they're just too slow. I really need to get myself some light cavalry, the, the Strati Totoi, or, or, or whatever the fuck they're called. Very fast. Perfect for running down cowardly generals. This is a clear victory! Dead that goes and to dead. Only men of great All right, but how, how bad is the... Uh, the flamethrower unit. We tore them apart. Orders. Mm, not very good. Name oh, thy well. enemy, Lord. We march on our. Still, we got yes. the settlement. Minimal oh. casualties, and without delay. This is a good settlement to take as well. But in hindsight, maybe I should have said like one of them. It's just that I didn't need that unit in the battle and I could have used them even though I didn't. Spy would be a good idea. Is there a spy guild here? No. Alright, what do we need? We need troops. I've gotta get myself some light cav. I'm not sure if I should get Bessarabari. Oh, it's good. Bessarabia. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, is there anything else for me to do? I don't think so. Don't have any money. Okay, moving on. Good, they're sallying out. 
I hope there's not two generals in there, because the cavalry is the hard part. It doesn't matter how many infantry they've got, that's easy. Two generals. Well, we've got four here, plus I've got the horse archers, they can deal with that. The rest are just infantry. Alright, no worries, we got this. The Go horse archers are sorted now. In fact, bringing infantry to a sally out fight like this is actually makes it more difficult because you're sitting there trying to protect them, and they just can't run away. My lord, the tide of battle seems to have turned against us. We must act and halt this turn of events. Winning here will undo my shame at Adana. Because this is a, a much better prize. And I'll take it at much lower cost. Alright, so the general's bodyguards are the first out. That's what I want you to do. Because you'll, you'll be reasonably good at shooting them. Ah, oh, it's getting dark. I don't like it when it does this. That's okay. Still, we've done some significant damage to what I think is their faction leader. Why did he do that? He, he came out went for a run and then went back inside. Is he just getting his afternoon exercises or something? Could have got his exercises another way. Right, we'll, we'll just wait for him to come back out. Because he will. We don't engage with their infantry until the general's dead. Ignoring my horse archers gives me a chance to shoot them in the flanks. And it looks like we've cut them down by about half, because I think that was faction leader and faction heir. Okay, if you could just just delay fighting them just a little bit longer. I know that they'd be able to win, but I mean we're just getting so many good kills here. And this is their most dangerous unit. Stand over here. Okay, one general down. That was. Yes, that was their faction heir, and this is the faction leader. Doge. Good, he's fighting to the death. He's going in the wrong direction. No, no, don't let him go. Doesn't matter if we don't get rid of all of the bodyguards, we need to get rid of him. Glorious heaven above! Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well. Give the dog some wine. They're both called sure Councillor Barbas. sure he can Barbas. see us defeat the rest of his army. Maybe the first one we killed was actually the doge and it was just a bug. Alright, I want them to try and get tired if possible. Yep, take out the uh, the crossbows first, obviously. It really doesn't help that I can barely see. It's just everything's so dark. I, I mean, like, I can see where everything is, I just can't tell which unit's which. Prepare some more sandwiches, shall we? 
Medieval 2 is the best game to get the four sandwiches. Sandwich, motherfucker. Sort of. I say sort of because it, it wasn't. What sandwich is gonna be like at the same time? I just didn't time it right. I didn't need to. They're they're all they terrified now. I'll put you on skirmish mode, and if you get caught, I'll never use skirmish mode again. Just any old charge into them should finish them off. I mean, they should be pretty much exhausted. The battle scene? Only half. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. I don't want them fine to the death, I just want them broken. Okay, I think it's basically just this unit here that has not broken. Let's make our way inside, if we can. Yeah, they're gonna keep shutting the gate on us. That's fine, we just need to make them rout all simultaneously, and then we win, without even having to step to inside the settlement. It is unwise to Quite a clever move going into uh, skill trim at the last moment Our there, but we we'll still just roll over it. And forging a worthy victory. Our men have fought long, and are becoming tired. Let me in. Nope. Let me in. The okay, enemy, the enemy are overcome. How about that? Like a hundred to one kill ratio. A most honorable victory, my noble lord. God be praised for blessing us with victory. Now, did that finish off? Venice. Yes, it did. Whenever you get like loads of messages that someone's died, they're dead. Good. Good. Taking out what would have been a very troublesome faction with pretty much ease. Early on, that helps a lot. Now, maintaining public order here is a bit of a problem. What we really need is a um, is a master. There's a couple of master thieves guilds that'll really help us in our conquest. In fact, without master thieves guilds or thieves guild headquarters or assassins guild headquarters, we're really going to struggle to take settlements far away. If you remember in my Crusader States campaign, uh, by the end of it, I had so many master thieves guilds that. I actually had full the max amount of law, which is 125 percent, zero percent corruption in every settlement. Virtually, it's impossible to get that in uh, medieval two vanilla, you know, without modifying it. So, next turn they'll uh, 
They'll sell you out. Yeah, pretty expensive upkeep, but good units nonetheless. Alright, one more turn of recruitment here, and then we start sending these guys over here. Next target would probably have to be probably gonna have to be the uh, the Crusader states. They're in the way here. I mean, we could go down and fight the Turks. We've get, we've essentially given them time to lick their wounds. We'll probably conquer some more territories around over here. But I don't know. The further we chase them down in this direction here, the further away from the capital, the harder it will be to maintain public order. We start going down over here. These are richer settlements. Uh, richer settlements. Right, could we get a better governor by any chance here? No, we've pretty much got the best one in there already. 65%. I oh, know. Oh, if yes, we pick up lord. someone from over here. Yes, my lord. Or you. Onward. Or you. And drop them over at Venice. Good. Plotting Looks like we'll have to stay here for a little while because of public yes. order issues, but there's a, there's a few good coins coming through, and like I said, defeating that faction really helps. Next target will probably be, um, I guess Bologna. Maybe Sicily. Wait, wasn't... Yeah, Republic of Venice, that's done. On episode 2. How many settlements have we got now? 24. What do we need? 50 regions to Constantinople, tick. Thessalonica, tick. Adrianople, tick. Nasia, tick, tick. No. Canic, tick. Tick, tick, tick. Yep. No. Yep. Yep. Nope. Okay. So it's like two settlements that we haven't got yet. Jerusalem and Sophia. And Sinop 3. And Sino Sinop's mine for the taking whenever I feel like. It's just there. Alright. Over here. Where to, sire? As you wish, I'm done for today, my lord. So that's not what we're Bessarabia. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to take that. I feel like I should, because that way it will control the river up here. I couldn't, if I can control that river, I can put forts on there to protect the area. All right, I'll take that. Let me strike, my lord. I'm sure there might be a one or two people who be like, "No, no, it is not part of the Roman Empire." Like enemy, lord. Your All right, it's borderline part of the Roman Empire. Borderline. I'm sure that they had all this territory at like for a short time. At some point, Sire, without the train. we'll also need to start preparing for a uh, a war against the Hungarians. Because the thing is, if we don't attack them, they'll attack us. It's better off if we're on the attack. All right, what else should we do? Okay, I got heaps of money this time, so we should have plenty of money to build in most of our settlements. Let's see what we can get. All right, so now we can get Castrofilake instead of. Uh, Contaratoi. Can't get them anymore. Not from here. Then there's Gazmuli, which are crossbowmen. Very good units. Yeah, let's get that. The Byzantines get some good units from their cities. You don't necessarily need to have lots of castles. Tereso needs recruitment barracks. Smyrna needs whatever. I've always thought that the island settlements are better off as, as like, um, as towns, not castles, but that's alright, I'll keep it as a castle. It's a good place to reinforce from, from, from over here while we're attacking down south. Hang on. From over here, have we got our, we don't have a ship. Oh yeah, we do. Your orders? Because we need to get to Adana as we make make way to attack Antioch. 
That's going to take absolutely forever for it to grow. It's almost not even worth having. But we're rich enough that we should be able to handle it. Okay, so... Wasn't enough to get something in every settlement. I don't necessarily need more troops right now, so I won't hire any more. We're, we're good for military. If I just sleep, let's have a look. If we have a look at military ranking, how do we fare compared to everyone else? Way above everyone. But that's going to change. So the Turks actually start off with the strongest military. I mean, next. Actually, we start off stronger than them. Okay, let's move on. Am I forgetting something? I don't think so. Moving on. So I reckon this turn the uh, they'll sally out. Let's hope we're ready for it this time. It's not an easy garrison. Some strong units in that. Evenly matched, roughly. I think it would actually be easier if we didn't have any bloody infantry. Because I'd be able to move around a lot more. I have a lot more mobility. And with a battle like this, mobility is really useful. Okay, drop all this shit. Oh, I've got flamethrowers. Okay, well, we'll see how we go with that. I know we're going to take a lot of casualties on this, there's basically no way of going around that. But if you can get, like, a load of kills and burn these Armenians, if you could just close up there a little bit. Come on. Ah, fucking things. They're really not my favourite unit, they're just, they're really awkward to use. You can't arc their shots. They're like guns, except really short range. You need to go around and tackle these uh, this cavalry. So you can get back to what you told. You should go around favor. the side here. If and we burn remain them. true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Charge of these Armenians of Cilicia. You can back off over here. Doesn't matter if they're getting shot to shit. I'm going to burn them now. Oh, that, that was good. If they can even just get one shot in, they almost do their worth. That terrifies people to, you know, burn like that. What you really need is mounted flamethrowers. Why didn't they ever think of that? Take him out. He dies, we win. We got their archers tied down over here. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their praise to our lord. Right, we got him. Our men have slain the enemy general. Now his men will lose half. The rest of this will be easy. 
just uh, basically just make it run straight straight through. Because all their morale is shot. They have the fast moving tray. Yeah. Because they're, they're, that's really fast for heavy cavalry. That's it. Don't let them get back inside. What hasn't broken yet? Oh, there was a couple of units in here, but if they come right over this way, then they'll be much easier to break. The enemy! The enemy are overcome! Good. After the defeat that we had before, we get a heroic victory there, so that all worked out nicely. We tore them apart, my lord! Victory! We marched through your enemy's streets! And everything Victory. works out in the end. And good, quite a lot of them actually re recovered as well. Now, as I yes, said previously, we need to pick up the reinforcements from yes, here. Orders. Bring them to Antioch. Oh, there's a draw out opportunity. Full sail. I only answer to more no other. The Crusader troops you are pretty shit because I know because they use their troops. Um, just thinking how best to go about this. Your orders. This is all pretty trashy orders. as well. You stand right there. Yeah. Mark. Yes. Plotting course now, my lord. Who do I face? So who stays behind here? Probably the archers. Yes. Orders. Yes, Marjorie. Yes, my lord. Name thy enemy, lord. My lord. Alright. Should we spare any So... The melees are essentially their best units. They're middling sort of cavalry. They're nothing special. And over here, all infantry. So that's easy to deal with. Yeah, we don't want to do a night attack. Because I'd love to get into Antioch this turn. Alright, let's reorganize. I would have loved my cataphracts to come down here with us, but there was no time to get them down here. The opportunity presented itself, so I'm going to strike. Right, we'll take the high ground up here. You guys stay up in front because they don't have much missile cap. Actually, if they don't have much missile capability, stay in the rear. You stay in the rear as well, and the cavalry stay in the infantry rear. The enemy have brought up more men. They hope to make up in numbers what they lack in bravery. So you being my fastest cavalry, your job is not to participate in actual combat, but to run them down. Because you're faster than all their cavalry. Well, specifically their general, if he runs away, you need to shoot him. Don't want you on skirmish mode. If they charge up at the hill at us, so be it. They should really wait for their reinforcements, but this works for me. Okay, I want you to come out front. If I could get a shot off on them, it just do a lot of damage. That's all. Come on, fire you shit! There you go, and then get back behind the line. So it doesn't matter if they charge into the Akratistite because that softens the blow. Oh, come on, get back. Still, fuck, they did a lot of damage. It's 
just that kind of story. That doesn't really matter. Yeah, I did say I didn't want you directly getting Only into half combat. Only the enemy force remains. Stand back over here. It actually worked out very nicely. The battle is in our favor. Except if the we general true didn't participate. And wholehearted, victory will be ours. There's only a handful of the general's bodyguard left, I think. Yeah, ten. Alright, you can charge into that. You motherfucker, he got through us. Gotta make sure you get him. We are black. Praise the Almighty! Okay, that's Our the first part, the, the, the most difficult part. The rest the of these are just infantry, in so it's easy to kill. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory. Yeah, I think will there's be archers ours. in this group. So that's easy. Easy. Um that's I mean in infantry. Yeah, they've got archers, okay. You guys up front. I'd like to use my flamethrowers again, but I just I just don't see how they're gonna do anything here. Oh actually no no, they, they could do stuff. I just think the uh, the archers will target them. Actually what I'll do is I'll send Alexius over here. Because it's okay if he dies. He's old. Try and tie down those Armenians of Cilicia. And you, I want you to get a nice big burn on those Armenian infantry. Battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. In the right situation, these things are incredible. In the wrong situation, with cavalry's nearby, they just. not good. The enemy are back. We are black. The enemy oh, cool. flees the battle! That worked out well. I don't think we took a single casualty against the, the reinforcing army. Like I said, infantry by itself, just useless. On a field battle, especially if there's enemy's cavalry superiority. Totally useless. Infantry isn't useless, it's actually really good if you just do it. There won't be a comment like that. All of Christendom will be awed. Good. And Antioch falls to us. Probably still got any movement. What the fuck over there? Okay. Um. Execute, of course. Ah! 
I get that inkling like it crashes on the horizon, you know. Victory. Who do I face? Your order? Yeah, they damage the port. Damage the port even if you occupy it. Yeah. Alright, it's it's not that rich. I mean there's no buildings in here. And there's no population. I mean, that's just because it's a, a minor city. There's, there's no one here. It needs to grow ten times as large, but it's still it's still an important settlement. There's a lot of buildings that we can construct here to, to get built up. It's going to need um, it's going to need garrison before anything else. Yes, my lord. Orders. All right. I think they can afford to spend a bit of time there now. Yeah, can we recruit them? And can you guys come and join us? Orders, my lord. We must Should be the ones who recruit them. I mean, that, that'll count for basically both of those units combined in there. Should be enough to maintain public order. I should have built that. Alright, so we've got a Polish merchant here. He's two merchant skill. Plus, our guy here is three merchant skill. 46% chance. And I'll give you his <laughs> Classic. Classic fucking merchant. Oh, legend. How come you never use merchants? You'd make so much money if you used your merchants. <laughs> fucking hell. It's like, this is why. Because, in my experience, this happens every fucking time. <laughs> he doesn't love merchants. Oh god damn it. Higher level merchant lost to lower level merchant. You legend, you just didn't do it right. You didn't you got no skill, you didn't do it right. Name thy enemy, Lord. You needed to wait until he had more finance. Let me strike, my lord. Alright, so let's get you in there, you probably fail as well. Yep. Fucking hell. Yeah, when it comes to agent actions, I usually, I really do need them in the, in like the, the high percentages because, like, I'm literally the, the unluckiest person in the world when it comes to like gambling or anything like that. Like, I'll be wrong ten times out of ten. I even said to someone, I was I, I was at a casino one time, and they're like saying, "Oh, what should I bet on?" I said, "Look, I'll give, I'll tell you something. I'm the most unlucky person you've ever met. Whatever I say, just do the opposite of that." And you know, I made. I forget what the game was. You know, you guess what color it is or something. And, and I made, whatever made a guess was, they went the opposite of it, and they won every single fucking time. And they said that that that, that were, I was there technically their unlucky charm, but if just just don't do what I say, and then you 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 do it. Command me. That's why I don't believe in luck. Let me strike, my lord. Your will, your majesty. I think I think that was the thing. the The universe taught me a lesson with that. It was like. Don't rely on on chance because it's it's not for me. I was I only I only work on certainties. Um, yeah. My lord. Why did I send them ahead? Oh, that's right. Because of the. We shall send them to hell or worse. March. When shall we attack the wars then, my lord? I want to keep them coming, even though they're expensive units. Um, this is the only settlement that I can recruit these three in. So, and it's not—it's not like my armies aren't pulling their weight. I mean, we've—we've we've nearly doubled in size, and our our revenue is really quite up there at the moment. So it's good. It's worth hiring lots of troops. You know, it's sort of like what I, what I, I always say this, but like with, with the newer Total Wars, right? If if this if this was Total War Attila, I'd be like, oh yeah, spam 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 spam. Of course, you'd be getting it from a general. Castrophilake, uh, just yeah, spam spam spam. Turns until next available one. I can only can only put one. So if you want to get an army quickly, you have to put variety of units in there. It it is the best recruitment thing that they've ever done, and they tossed it away after one game and it made no sense that they went from essentially near perfection I mean I think they can they can like do it a little bit better to Empire Total War oh yeah line infantry spam 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 
Which kind of made sense for that era, though, because, like, it, most of the armies would just be one unit type, really. And the big bulk of the army, then there's some artillery. But, like, in, in, like, feudal Europe during the 12th century, you'd have all kinds of bloody levies. You know, you'd your spear crap, you'd have your swords crap, your cavalry crap. Archer crap. It's all crap because they're not professional armies. You know? That's, they're not standing armies. I've actually got an idea in my head about what I could do with Medieval 3 if I was like the lead creator of it. I've been thinking about making a series about like what I would do if I was in charge of Medieval 3. I reckon all the casuals would be like, No, oh, it's too complicated. You, you made more than one button to do something. You're too hard. I just want to look at shiny picture. You should probably use high pitch voice when saying about the casuals because they're probably children. Okay, I think I've done everything that I can. Now we just, um,. Need military. Need some more troops. I got nothing out of there. Oh, I could hire a merchant. I've got the money for it. But you know, this, they're so good. There's so much money to be had in merchants. No, because if, if I use the merchant, this guy here will just like kill him straight away. It's, just, it's not worth it. Anyway, I don't fucking gamble. There, there's there's certainties of money by conquering settlements. Merchants is not a certainty. It's like, yeah, if, if you had access to a gold resource, then sure, I'll put a, yeah, a safe gold resource, you know, no other merchants lurking about, then yeah, I'll put a merchant on there if I had some ivory, sure. But otherwise, uh, waste of time. Money better spent in some good soldiers. Alright, what am I doing over here? Name That's right, you're coming down this way. Right, you're going to need a boat. And do we want any more troops from here? Might as well. It's not a great army, but I imagine the, the settlements that we'll find around here are still going to be rebel controlled. And we could also pick up some troops from here. Maybe I'll get a boat from here and send them separately. Oh, that's up to near town. Alright, so I don't think there's anything else I need to do. I may, I may have forgotten. Because they, they still need to stay there for a little while, just due to religious differences. Personally, in my opinion, I don't think Orthodox Christianity should cause that much religious unrest. I mean, I know the schism has happened, but still. Did they really care that much? I don't know, it doesn't matter. I did kind of like it better in, like, how in Empire Total War, how, like, if you were a Catholic country and you controlled an Orthodox, not Orthodox, a, a Protestant region, it was like a little bit of unrest, but if you controlled an, a Muslim settlement, it's like, fucking, they just would not stop revolting. The enemy lays siege, my lord, but God is with us. Uh, which I thought made more sense. Theologians Guild, yeah, no. Oh, well. Like I said, it would have been better if he died in battle, but they all die eventually, don't they? And now you're old. Got this battle over here to do. Mostly cavalry in there. Well, half cavalry. And then I'll make my way to Brasov. After I fortify the borders here. It's important because we're not expanding anywhere else out this way. We'll need to make sure that if anyone is going to attack, it, it's it's a good way to delay them. To get so that we can get forces over there. In fact, is that, is that a castle? Yeah. It's important that that's a castle, and we'll need to put a lot of troops in there as garrison, because that's our border. 
So over here, rebels besieged us. This must be must be the uh, the last remnants of Venice. What have they got? God will be with us, men. To battle. Uh, biggest threat here is actually okay. No, we're, we're gonna be fine. It's gonna be easy. Because what I need to do is send my cavalry to go take out their archers, their crossbowmen, and then I've got to hope it doesn't crash. Then again, just had an auto save. Um, yeah, so guys, just remember if the if the episode just abruptly ends at any point during the series, just understand that the game crashed. But you know, we'll pick up from where we left off in the next episode. You know, if you don't hear my beautiful fucking outro, just know that the game crashed. Because I'm not fucking doing re redoing episodes again after it's you know an hour into it. Now that now that the uh, now that YouTube has taken away the video editing software, it really limits how I how I can um, deal with crashes. And as I've said before, I, I could edit them myself, but I I sh if I was going to edit the videos, I really need to be recording a different format. I record AVI, a very it's a fairly compressed AVI fo fo uh, file which works well on YouTube, but if I want to edit it, I need to be recording an MOV file, or an MP4 file. I could transcode it, but every time I transcode it, quality is lost. And don't forget, you transcode it, which basically just means turning it from one format to another, and then you put it into the video editing software, put it together, and then you got to export it again. So that's, t that's two transcodings. You, you lose quality every single time you do it with compressed videos. I mean, if it was uncompressed each time, yeah, no problem. But the problem is, is like, uploading uncompressed video to YouTube is like, what? Am I gonna upload 100 gigabytes for one video? I don't fucking think so. And then YouTube just compresses it themselves. 100 gigabytes, yeah, I'd only be able to release five episodes a month. And as it stands, it's more cost-effective for me to release trash than than quality. Oh, sorry, lots of trash than just a little bit of quality. Because the way YouTube works, consistency is, is very important. I need to re be releasing videos every single day. I mean, just... I, I hate to bring this up, but you just look at what happened with Warrior Spartan. He just doesn't release videos every day. His channel is just... Like, people have just stopped watching him. It's not his fault, but, like, it's, it's what happens when you're not consistent. In his case, you know, personal life gets in the matter. Like I said, it's not his fault. However, someone like me that has no problems, I suppose, it's, it's not a problem. But I don't have any issues with stopping from uploading. I can, I can always just release videos every day. It's every day. Brute fucker. battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. I think it's because of YouTube that I, I like became obsessed with like constantly doing battles and like speeding them up. Just because like with, with hot seats, especially those those turns where I always had like, like 10 settlements to conquer within an hour. And then I just got used to playing really quickly. Too slow. Big downside to the Athanator. They got the big fat ass, they can't move very fast. Big old Greek fat ass. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. So 
so you, you use the Emperor now. Sort of dragging the heels, taking out these urban crossbows. They should, but it's fine. This general just doesn't want to die. Because I think the generals in this, the the actual generals and captains, have more hit points than they do in vanilla. Because in vanilla, they they could potentially be the first one to die. It doesn't happen so much in stainless steel. They have a lot of hit points. I guess they, they really want to try and prevent people from doing general snipes. Because obviously that's a that's a mainstay in medieval 2, and that's historically not really what happened that often. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. I mean, fuck me sideways, this guy just does not want to die. We are blessed! Yeah, it's the enemy general is dead! We have sent the idiot to hell! Oh, you're out of ammo anyway. The on Praise the Almighty! Uh, Our don't really need to run them down because the they're rebels, they die anyway. Christendom. Let me get the like the the revolt of Bulgaria at some point as well. If I recall, that's a fucked event. It's like full stack, like a, a load of full stack uh, rebels show up. All right, so I'm just gonna quick save it just in case it crashes. Name thy enemy, Lord. My Lord. Probably good order to resolve this, but we'll fight it manually. No matter how they beg, let none escape. Attack! I think the Bulgarian brigands have um, long range. Shoot the Kumik horse militia. And obviously, oh hang on, this talks is high. Um, I probably shouldn't be using them for this. Actually, just just drop that. We are through the enemy's walls into the breach for glory and victory. So after this, I would actually want to get a peace treaty with the Kumans because I've taken all the territory I want from them. There we're going. Forty-one percent of them dead. All right, just descend in the cavalry. We'll be fine. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Okay, he's taking a bit of damage. Are, our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. But he'll be fine. My lord! This is a clear victory that goes to... Show little mercy. They deserve none. All right, so that's 
this is the extent that we're going to we're going to conquer in this direction. Command me. So who are we going to put? How much do you cost an upkeep? Eighteen. All right. So um, you're a good candidate for. Um, If I was to merge them, let me just see. No, 152. They'd, um, they'd completely merge. Because that's 151. But you're low upkeep. You're low upkeep as well. Yes. Preparing defensive fortifications, my lord. Yes! Majesty, my lord, orders? And then a watchtower over here. Yes, lord. So we Been can see what's going on out there. And um, make your way back over yes, here. Lord. Then you. Let me strike, my lord. Over here. Name thy enemy, lord. Fold it up. If they attack this fort, they will be new. Orders. So Move with these up. forts, it's face? not about putting a large army in there so that they can win the battle. It's about putting the cheapest shit that you can put in there. So they keep the fort open, and what that does is if someone's coming rampaging down this way with a full stack, they'll besiege the settlement, that buys us another turn to recruit some, some additional levies over here, buys us some time to get ready for them. That's what it's for. It's all it's there for us to buy time. And then we'll need Name that another one over Lord. here. I'll send you, because he's a general, he, he's he got a lot of dread, I don't really care too much about command, but the dread's very useful. But which unit should we send? Because if I, if I select, yes. and move that in there, it'll, it'll completely merge it. Or I could just save it for another time. But you know, that'll, that'll just mean Poland will come down this way, maybe. I don't know. Your I guess we'll figure it out as we go. Move out. We can march no further. Where to, sire? Invest, sire. As you wish. Brasov looks ripe for the taking. All right. What else? Let's let's build some shit. So we're at an hour and twenty-two minutes, nearly twenty-three. Start wrapping up the episode. We made some really good progress so far to begin with. Wait, what's that? Uh, it's a bit of gold, but I think, it's, considering it's a castle and we we definitely want to invade Italy, we're gonna need some more. Uh, we need some more troops. All right, that's the extent of my cash. Okay, so there's still things over here we can do. Orders. So you're in charge now. Your will. Yes. Thirteen armies. Let's see what we've got. My lord, move out. Bringing our troops together. Leave the archers Orders. behind. Your Majesty. Orders. Thirteen armies. Onward. Right. And those can maintain together. public order. Yes? Yes, my lord. This is where we shall meet the enemy. Laying siege. Is it time to take the wall? The Turkish wall cavalry can be quite useful in this because they can fire over the wall. Your orders? Right. You need to yes, come back over here. So I've got to keep recruiting from this this castle. I know there's not that many troops that are available at the moment, but we can orders? use that to, to replenish them as we continue down this coast. So you're arriving over here. Yes. It's time to get moving. Your Majesty. Don't think we need a large orders. garrison here. Yeah, public order's fine. Yes. Come on. Probably could actually push them away. Closing to engage, my lord. 
Our fleet is big. Your orders? Yes. Okay, we want to keep the soldiers safe, so land them here just for the, the main turn. Your orders? I think it's Benghazi over here. Plotting course oh, now, my lord. Fucking idiot. Oh, fuck's sake. Full I didn't save. put the troops on the goddamn boat. Dropping oh, well, anchor it's, until it's more. more time to organize. Yeah, move out. Combining forces, my lord. Bringing our troops together. Yes, my lord. Yes. Plotting right, course so now, my lord. We shall continue tomorrow. I'll, I'll figure it out as we go. Next turn. Oh, that's good. See, the uh, the rebels are attracted to the watchtowers like a moth to the flame. And that way they're not standing on the road. That's my don't have visibility on that one. I kind of do need to construct here just because of public order. So something's got to give. Oh, I don't need that. What the fuck was I thinking? So town hall will be good. Got to get the public order up so that we can go and hit some more rich Italian settlements. Eventually taking on the Pope himself. That's the extent of my cash. I built my siege track. Oh, yep. Yes! Closing for battle! They're going nowhere, my lord. The siege continues. If they get a few more troops together, we'll organize something to go down and attack the, the Turks again. But they could really use some cavalry. Alright, moving on. So I've noticed that the, the two main places that the game crashes is basically right when you hit the end turn button and when you load into a battle or when you finish a battle or randomly whenever so basically at any point in time it could crash oh come on seriously this is not good Lord. the enemy have laid siege upon us it's, it's the rebels what am I supposed to do about that all right so yeah I'll accept that I seek an honourable engagement, dear foe. There's, there's not enough troops to be able to defend against that. I will defeat you honourably, my worthy foe. Come on, that's that's kind of bullshit. No fucking warning. Good public order. Brigands show up to besiege the settlement. If I had known, I would have uh, recruited some more troops there. How are you supposed to fucking know? Alright, so... Your orders? Let me strike up. Yes, loading up the men. Moving ashore, my lord. Yes. Orders. Yes, my lord. All right. So as far as they can go this turn, yes. we united the forces, make their way over to Benghazi, and then I don't know. I, I could send them to Egypt, but I think that this force over here wouldn't do a very good job. I'm not going to fight that today because I just run the risk of crashing when there's like two minutes left to an hour and a half. Yes. And I don't know what to do about. Oh, there's actually there's two points here that they could cross. Without a trace. Definitely, Halic is not part of the Roman Empire. Let me strike, my lord. I'm glad to leave behind some cheap shit. Just to maintain public order. My lord. Okay, good. Orders? Let me strike, my lord. Yes. Continue your will. Onward. Sire. Very low chance of getting in. I wouldn't bother with that. We get some more spies. I've got no troops from which to attack this. What I can, what I can do is, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to hold on to this. I mean, it's three units up against. I seek an honourable engagement, dear foe. Is that seven? 
I would there's three shit units. I wouldn't be able to win against that. Um So what I can do is, once they've taken it, I'll come back down this way and retake it off them. Your orders? Confused, Sadiq? I am not in your navy. Yes? Okay, well that's a good place to end the episode there. So next time we'll attack Tortosa. And currently we're sitting on 27 regions, so we've nearly doubled our, our size since we started. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe, part 3 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.